Hello, welcome to the section of the Engineering Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, here we're going to talk about something that sounds a little odd. What it is is we're trying to uh, find a general solution for the natural response and the step response. And there's not going to be any derivation here, but it's going to be an observation. Some of your books, depending on what book you're using, won't even mention this. Some of the books, depending on the one you're using, will mention it and make it like super important. So it really depends on the book you're using. But personally, I find that it's a really important part of everything we're learning here because it kind of opens your eyes and makes you realize that, you know, I don't know about you, but the first time I learned all this stuff, you've got so many different classes of everything. You've got the natural response of the circuit when you charge it up, so to speak, and let it decay, exponential decay, right? Then you've got capacitor and inductor as flavors of the natural response. And then you've got the step response when you kind of hit the circuit with by closing a switch and hit it with a source and then you've got capacitance and inductance there as well different types of circuits and then you've got the voltage to worry about and the current to worry about and it, and it can get confusing um, because there's so many different flavors natural response step response inductor capacitor voltage and current there's so many different things so when you're presented with a problem on your exam the first step a lot of times is to figure out what is it here? Is it natural? Is it step response? Is it current? Is it voltage? Is it capacitance? Is it inductance? And then you go back to your notes, you find the appropriate equation, and you try to find everything that you need to put in there. It can get confusing is all I'm trying to say. It can lead to problems. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reveal behind this board every equation we have studied in this, basically in this entire concept of what we're doing, the natural and the step response, all in one place. And then we're going to draw a really useful conclusion. And I think what you'll find out is that all of those different types of equations really are just different flavors of one single idea. And that's kind of what I've been hinting about a lot coming up to this point. So once you know that single idea, then it allows you to attack lots of different kinds of problems, um, I think a little bit easier than hunting for the appropriate equation. So without any further ado, this is everything we've basically learned in this class so far. First, up here at the top, we have the natural response. Everything in, in this kind of quadrant of, this, of the board. And then down here, we have everything we've learned about the step response. So notice there's inductor and capacitor, inductor and capacitor flavors, and we have current and voltage everywhere. So let's go down a trip down memory lane and go back up to up here when we first talked about inductors, the natural response. It was a very simple equation in retrospect. Basically said, you find the initial current flowing in the inductor, um, you have to find the time constant for the L over R time constant of the circuit, um, and basically it's an exponential decay. When you open the switch and let the inductor bleed into a resistor load, it's an exponential decrease from its, from its initial value down to zero because